I'm actually really grateful just to be able to stand in front of you all and um, sing the praises of this course. Um, it was around this time last year that I chose to apply uh, for the Access to Justice and Community Engagement course, it's full title. And if I'm honest, it, it was for pretty selfish reasons. Um, I, missed, I missed the ideal, idealist 18-year-old that I was when I first applied to study law at UCL. Um, and I wanted some way to assuage the cynicism that had grown in me during my studies. <laughs> and I thought that working for charity, I could cure this, and you know, I'd be doing my bit to help the underrepresented in society. Um, and after three months in the classroom and two months on placement, I can't say that I've quite regained that optimism and idealism. But I am more hopeful. Now when I look at changes in the law and at the profession, it's with a critical rather than cynical eye. Most importantly, I've also learned that I need to be part of the dialogue of change. As every student, lawyer and judge should be, I can't just be an apathetic observer. As for doing my bit to help the underrepresented, I hope I've made a contribution. I think I have. Um, to be honest, you should probably ask my fantastic supervisor, Rachel. Um, she'll, she'll be able to tell you how much use I've been. Um, but what I can say for sure is that there's been a huge improvement in my personal development. Um, and that's what we've, we've heard said about this course, is that it's a, it's a double whammy. It's helping students and it's helping uh, people who you know, need help with their legal problems. Um, and at the start of my placement, I think you can see how much this has helped me in my practical skills. At the, at the start of my placement, I couldn't actually write a letter to a local authority requesting something without Rachel basically holding my hand. Um, and now I've attended client meetings, I've attended project meetings, I've contributed to a government consultation response, um, and I'm still in the middle of writing my own complaint letter on behalf of a client. And while I can hardly claim to have transformed into a fully functioning lawyer, I have learned a couple of valuable lessons about law and practice as opposed to theory. And I think the most important lesson, or one of the most important lessons, has been about a lawyer's duty to their client. It was something I knew about in theory, but never really understood the full implications of. After all, providing representation for a real person is a bit different to you know, providing advice to a fictitious character in a problem question. When writing that complaint letter on behalf of one of JFK's <coughs> clients, the best feedback I was given was to write a letter that fought for the client. To lay out the law clearly from specific statutory sections down to specific guidance provisions and interwoven with the client's story in order that that failure of duty was indisputable and our claim for redress fully justified. <coughs> this process showed me that representation in practice is not simply a discursive academic exercise in applying the law. It's the means by which people can best, best access justice. It's the nature of our adversarial system that every client needs a way to articulate their story and defend their rights or wrongs, regardless of whether they have them, the law on their side or not. In writing that complaint letter, I was not just analysing which way a judge would rule, but rather providing a voice to a young person who otherwise would not have been able to effectively engage with the legal system. Realising the significance of that role was a real eye-opener. I could go on for hours. Um, you know, it's made a real difference to my legal education doing this course. As Tom said, it's, it's something completely different to anything else that, you, that I've studied during my years at UCL. It's heightened my awareness of social justice issues, improved and added to my practical skill set, and most significantly, it's increased my self-awareness as a future member of the profession. In short, that's what's truly invaluable about the UCL Legal Centre. It will equip the next generation of UCL lawyers with a critical eye for the consequences of change in the wider legal landscape. No matter where they specialise, and place the importance of access and provision of justice uppermost in their minds.